So today I thought I'd provide an update on my Gargoyle character. This is the original model I paid someone on Fiverr to design for me in Blender, but I've since walled the model and made holes for the eyes using Mesh Mixer. Then I started printing. I had some issues joining the body with epoxy. About a year later on, it's all flaking off and it's unreliable. I also didn't think about long-term use and access to the body itself for easy repairs or upgrades. I started by changing the way I had the head split, so I have access to all the electronics from the back. I just use magnets to keep the back part of the skull attached, which makes it easy to remove if the need arises. I also hadn't had much luck with options to turn the head and completely overhauled that. Here is the new neck plate that has a bearing and spacer attached so I can push a PVC pipe through it to act as a spine. Here we can see the body side neck plate. Same kind of thing, it has a spot for a bearing and spacer and magnets. Magnets! This time around I've added joining mounts for the models. For the body you can see where I've included holes to insert 6mm dowels to help with the alignment prior to gluing. I've also changed the back so I have access in the same way I did for the head. Everything connects with magnets. For now. Back to the head, you can see the same allowance I've left for the 6mm dowels. The iMac simply slides into this slot and the eyes finally have a working version. Partially thanks to the video from X Robots, using a modified version of the eye design from one of his videos, I was able to get it sorted. I'll throw a link in the description, but boy am I glad I finally have this bit working. So here is the real world version of the iMac before I added the eyes on. And while this is an old version of the head, I wanted to show how the cables and jaw systems work. This NEMA 17 stepper will control the rotation of the head. The body side neck plate complete with magnets and bearing. And the body itself complete with magnets. And dowel inserts. And I haven't glued this yet. The new head neck plate, magnets, bearings, you get the idea. I haven't got a spacer in the bearing for this one yet, so it's a little wobbly. So in theory, this is how it should all work. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.